Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So you can tell from the daily stamps, I have locked in for the last two days and I've actually collected the Pikachu. So um, just to show you guys, I have a brand new Pikachu, there we go, which you can get from the first time um, play login stamp set. So Pikachu is actually given to you free. As long as you log in um, well daily and of course once you reach that particular part of the stamp card you obtain Pikachu for free so yeah so there is no other way to attain Pikachu except from purchasing it from the stores so if you are a big fan of Pikachu and you really want a cute little fella <laughs> just log in daily and play the game you should have him in your well collection easily just like that don't really have to play puzzles to try and get Pikachu to join your cafe but that means that well um, Pikachu is going to be hard to level up because he doesn't really visit the cafe <laughs> so yeah uh, that's the thing that really concerns me so yeah, as you can tell um, you know there, there is one other way you can actually power up Pikachu is through the daily cafe request um oops forgot to turn off the notification so yeah as you can tell i don't have the daily request yet because well i think you still need to reach a certain um stage level before it actually unlocks it for you so yeah so we're still trying to get score bunny we're gonna try and do this as quickly as possible because i'm actually recording this on the 14th of july um, which is just one day before um, Score Bunny disappears, as you can tell. It says here 15th of July. Um, so it only lasts until, well, basically, I've only got less than 24 hours to get him before he disappears completely. So let's try to do this. I'm gonna do as many recordings as possible <laughs> within this day itself just to get Score Bunny before uh, Sobble actually uh, comes in as an event Pokemon itself. So let's do this. Alright, so we gotta change to Minchino. Alright. So, if you guys notice, the Minchino color here is a bit darker as compared to the ones that we have here on the screen. Uh, the color difference makes me think that <laughs> this Minchino feels like a shiny Pokemon. But you know, it's just nice to have that color difference, even though, you know, it, it's not accurately a shiny. So, yeah. I don't know. I've never seen a shiny Minchino, so <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if I'm actually wrong. So, let's rotate around. Oh, we could have done it in just one go, but I missed it, so that's fine. move along lots of acorns just from that you know, the earlier stages are definitely way easier to clear so I've actually finished all 150 stages on my Nintendo switch account and I gotta say stage 150 is insanely difficult especially with a free-to-play account um, it's a, I would say it's a pro tip always have 900 acorns on you um, especially for those stages that cross the barrier of um, stage expansion like let's say for example let's take a look at the news info um, information nope this is not the one where is the info for the news oh well so oh I think this is the one there we go so like um, the first update was up to 120 so stage 120 is gonna be very difficult then followed by 150 and so on and so forth so these two stages definitely you need 900 acorns just to surpass it at least um until you've played that stage into a manner where you can actually clear it with that 900 acorn retry so yeah so that's my advice to you guys make sure you always have 900 acorns on you just for those um, stages that cross the boundary of update 
uh, hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's get Pikachu clear out the honey. And let's maybe use Squirtle. Oh no, we're gonna use Pikachu. Let's push the... Oh, come on. Okay, so... Squirtle, Squirtle. Let's try and push the tomatoes in. They are not going in at all. There we go. Okay. So, Snubble. Go in, please. Okay, Charmander. Oh, come on. This is just ridiculous. I, why am I struggling so hard on this level? Okay, so let's destroy all the honey on go. And there we go! Not the best example, but you know, clearing the stage is just what we need. And we got score bunny some stars, so that's fine. We're just three more stars away. Togepi's first visit? Oh no, it's the friend bonus. Oh. Okay. So let's power up Togepi with Togepi? <laughs> Togepi's just a cutie. Okay. Let's do this. Five thousand score required. A link of twenty-five. Uh, wow. Okay, so Togepi does have that skill where it destroys icons around the um, icon skill. Then it turns the icons around it um, into the particular Pokemon icon that has the most on board. So let's clear away Minchino. Okay. Who else do we have? There's a lot. Uh, probably Snubble. Alright, let's destroy some of the. Mm, okay, where is the whipped cream? Oh, okay, so there are a few whipped creams here. Let's destroy one of them first. There we go. Let's use the megaphone to destroy the chestnuts. And let's go for the chain. Very nice. So just like this, we are done. Easy peasy. Up next in line, it's Squirtle! Alright, we need Charmander for this. Guys, I would like to find out, do any of the food items that they show in the game actually entice you to try and make it for yourself? Or maybe something similar, maybe tea, you don't have to be exactly the design of the Pokemon Cafe designs. I mean like, when they make tea, would you want to go grab a cup of tea if they make tea? Pancakes, sandwiches, you know that kind of stuff. Do they make you actually hungry? Well, for myself, uh, yeah, I, I tend to get very hungry when I see food. Okay, we have the skill. Let's destroy all the sugar cubes and let's get Charmander. Alright, to push the tomatoes in. Okay. Yeah, one is in. Oh no. See, this is one of the problems with this game. Where you have to push the item in. Okay, I think we're good to go. Nice! Decent amount of acorns earned. Oh, we're 
are getting new items for the cafe. Oh no, we're getting an upgrade! Okay! So we need Minchino to satisfy Charmander's needs for a, uh, uh, well, dessert. Oh dang. Honeycomb waffles? That's a very strange number. 28,700. Alright, so let's try to destroy as many honeycombs or other honey as possible. There we go. Alright, let's get a chino. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we need the score. So let's just take the most number of Pokemon icons. Just destroy the last piece of honey. Yeah, no point using this skill if it's not gonna benefit you greatly. Because we want that acorn reward at the end of the stage. Oh, Charmander is one star away from fully leveling up. Alright, Timber, do your thing. I was gonna say that, you know, the background of the cafe area looks very nice. There's an ocean view and then the cityscape. It would be kind of sad if the walls of the cafe expansion blocked that view, but apparently the cafe now has glass windows. Oh! Okay, so there's a chance for Kirillia to join us. That's nice. Alright. Who's up next? Oh, score bunny again. That's fast. Alright. Gives us a greater chance to add him to the cafe. It would be nice if he came with a friendship bonus though. 77,000, one combo of 25 links. Ah, uh, I see why we needed Togepi, yes. Okay. So let's. Oh, okay, so we do have the moving sugar cubes coated in olive oil. So, yeah, it's it's good to actually destroy them um, as close as possible. Yeah, because um, we don't want them to like, obstruct the icons from coming down. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, we still don't have enough for... Linking, so let's get Togepi. Oh, we were just one shot. <laughs> okay, so let's destroy the portions with the most uncommon icons. Then we can gather a whole bunch of them together. There we go, we've got our 25 link. Simple as that. Okay, let's use this to destroy the megaphones if possible. There we go! I was actually hoping to use the skill icon to destroy both megaphones so you can accumulate score. Uh, but you know, I accidentally pushed the other one upwards and ended up not with it. <laughs> it didn't lay within that surface area that the skill icon has. <laughs> oh well. Oh look! There's our new friend. Alright, Snubbo. Here we go. You know, I really like the design of Snubbo in this game. I mean, Snubbo looks really really ugly. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of Bulldogs, you know, but there are people out there who find them cute. And, and it's it's okay, I mean, I've seen Bulldogs acting really cute, so they do have moments of cuteness, but their overall look looks really strange to me. I, I, I'm, I can't really appreciate them to the full extent, but okay, so... Oh! So we just get to have the tomatoes drop in, and we gotta clear the whipped creams. So let's destroy as many as possible. And right, so there is this whipped cream here at the corner on the right though. 
Huh. Alright, Charmander seems like he has a whole bunch of them. So let's gather as much as possible and destroy um, the whipped cream. Megaphone to help us drop the tomato in. There we go. So all we have to do now is just gather a whole bunch to get the score. And we you know, have an icon skill and destroy the last thing and then we're done. That's it. Oh man, liquid sandwiches actually look really good. Have you seen the photos of the actual food um, that is designed exactly like the ones in this game? Um, which they are serving at the Pokemon Cafe in Japan. So, yeah, if you guys are able to check it out, you know, see how it is like. But we all know, uh, if you've been to Pokemon Cafe in Japan before, or even, you know, in other countries out there which has uh, Pokemon Cafe events, um, like in Singapore here, we do have Pokemon Cafe events as well. Uh, you know, we, we all know that the food don't taste <laughs> good <laughs> i mean it's just for appearance appeal um yeah i've i've actually never eaten a good um i would say team cafe before <laughs> where the food is actually nice <laughs> i don't know it's just generally how it is i guess they spend so much time and effort to make it look appealing but they do not focus on the you know the, the main part the main part of food which is to taste good <laughs> i don't know someone has to really i guess work with pokemon company to improve on their food menu <laughs> oh well okay so we have a new friend trying to join us we definitely need her help in the future so the more the merrier okay so um Okay, I guess we don't really have to destroy the whipped creams yet because um the 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 skill is <laughs> destroying upwards. So if we can destroy from the bottom, having the chestnuts, the four chestnuts at the bottom destroyed first, then the whipped cream drops below with the rest of the chestnuts, and then we gain another skill icon. You know that's how we clear the stage so we just have to focus on the 35,400 score so let's do this let's get a bunch of love right there we go let's charge up that skill fantastic that's what we wanted okay there we go Nice. Alright, so let's gather the whole bunch of them and charge up that skill. Oh man, we just shot off a bit. That's, that's fine. We need it for the score anyways. And yeah, we're done. the pancakes the wobbly soft pancakes have you guys actually had these pancakes before i mean they don't have to have the easy design but soft wobbly pancakes in <laughs> any cafe out there in your own country let me know in comments down below i've i've actually had them in um yeah, there's this japanese cafe called hoshino's cafe in singapore they, they are a company in japan as well where you can actually have the same pancakes and stuff um, they are a bit pricey, but oh my goodness, are they heavenly. So, alright, so we have cleared challenge card number 3. Alright, I think, yeah, use powered up cafe skills. Oh dang, we actually you have to use them. Oh, clearing this card is going to be costly, because those items don't come by easily, uh, except for maybe like once... A Pokemon is max level, which is level 2. Um, every time you power up the uh, star bar, 
they will give you items and aside from that you can actually gain items from the you know the request here or rather the next gift um so yeah that's probably the only free methods of gaining those items that you can use here so yeah that's actually needed to you to to clear that mission from the cards so oh that's kind of kind of a bummer that you need to do this to clear uh, well a quest okay so friendship bonus on charmander okay so the bottom layer honey will not move the honey in the center is coated with olive oil so they will shift around just like a whipped cream Minchino skill destroys on the left so let's not touch anything for now although you know we might end up destroying the bottom layer because we have to go under if we go above we're gonna knock the chestnuts off which I think is still okay just that it might end up making us spend more moves just to complete this stage so I don't know there we go okay so Minchino let's get us some Minchinos there we go that's what we needed Alright, more of the icons has dropped down, so that's good for us. Hmm, can we push the chestnut back up though? Okay, so we have this. Let's destroy the chestnut along with the honey. And let's use this. There we go. So we just get to get a straw and clear the honey. Okay, let's get Pikachu's. One more honey to go. Um, Togopi seems like a whole bunch of them. Alright. Oh. Okay, we are done. So we used up all the stats. But, you know, the main point is to clear the stage. You know, the extra... Acorns are just bonuses But you know if we had to retry just for that friendship bonus and um, you know to gain the extra stars It wouldn't be worthwhile. So clearing the stage with all the moves allocated is still fine All right, so here it is. So wow, you became better friends with Charmander It'll be an even bigger help around the cafe from now on so Charmander there we go. Congratulations, your friendship with this Pokemon has reached to the maximum level. Once you've maxed your friendship with a Pokemon, you get a gift each time you fill that Pokemon Star Gauge. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So yeah, if you really want to clear that mission um, free to play way, you really have to play a lot and try and get as many stars as possible to gain these items for free so you can you know, use 10 of them just to clear that mission. Keep building up your friendships with Pokemon. There we go. Okay, so you get more time to link each combo now. So that is exactly what we need because we want to be able to freely drag around that um, Pokemon skill icon around the, the, the stage just to align it properly. Oh, are we adding more items to the cafe? Oh, do you want to invite your friends too, Eevee? Well then, let's write them some invitations together. And let's ask Pelipper. Oh! Oh, we're finally getting the um, the daily request. So yes, that's the most important thing about this game. So, you know, like I was saying previously um, in my last two episodes, the problem with this game is that you can't go back to play older stages so the Pelipper Bell is actually the only way you can earn acorns daily um, if you are stuck on the stage. <laughs> so I was so annoyed with stage 150 because I ran out of acorns to retry the stage. So the only way I could get acorns is through this Pelipper Bell. 
And sometimes when the miss the, the stages that the Pokemon comes with um, get too difficult, it gets very frustrating because you you just don't earn enough acorns just to retry the stage. So yes, so that's why I requested or rather I recommended um, you guys to always have 900 acorns on hand, especially for those stages that cross the boundary of updates. So yeah. Alright, stage 50, we get a gift. So they're gonna teach us about the Pelipper's mail service. So these are Pokemon we are inviting. If you decide you want to invite different Pokemon, you can change things from here. So you get one try on the house, but after that, you need to use Acorns to change invitees. So yeah, so the first refresh is always free. As you can tell, it's always good to have Pokemon um, invited that have not joined you at all, just like Squirtle here. So Squirtle is not invited yet, so we could go with this. But just for example's sake, I'm going to refresh it for, for example. Um, so yeah, so and I'm having two Pokemon that are already part of my cafe. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's okay um, if they are close to fully maxing out their star gauge, so that's fine. But you know, in since this is an example, the previous two cards are actually better than the ones I currently have. So yeah, so we're just gonna go with this because I, I need the acorns. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So the thing is, the first item is always free to retry. So even if you fail, you can just use your heart um, on the top here to retry the stage over and over again until you finally clear it. The second item, however, if you fail to clear it um, and you decide to quit, you won't be able to do that stage again. So, the minimum you can clear in this invite is only one stage. So, the minimum of acorns you can get is 50 acorns. Of course, the more steps that you conserve, definitely more acorns you earn. So, if you can clear both items um, without you know, failing, you, you get probably even more acorns in one day. So, yeah, you can imagine how long it will take to you save up 900 acorns just for one single retry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so if the game developers for this game can actually make things a lot easier, um, you know, and less frustrating, but I mean, of course, there is the monetary side of things as well. They definitely want to earn your money through buying acorns which you can use for retries that kind of stuff um, so yeah i don't know maybe they need to tone down the difficulty a bit for the free to play players at least a bit <laughs> all right so eighty thousand score a link of 28 seven chestnuts and 12 honey oh goodness gracious me okay so we have a bit of togepi here Let's go with Togepi, let's line them up on the wall. Alright, we've got more Togepi. Let's line them up. Alright, here we go. Let's destroy as many chestnuts as possible. Nice. Oh! Okay, let's link them up. We've got our 28. And all the honey cleared. So all we have to do now is just to destroy the acorn. Let's destroy a few of the icons and get Togepi to appear so we can combo. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Okay, so Squirtle is the majority right now, so let's destroy the top area. Hey, there we go. Let's get Squirtle. Woo! It feels so satisfying to link as many as this. Fantastic! So we managed to get 4 extra steps. Nice! Extra 20 acorns. 
Alright, let's move on to the next stage. Hopefully it's not as difficult. The party is getting lively. Why don't we prepare another offering to keep the party going? So complete another offering to become better friends with the Pokemon. You can get more stars with this item, but the party will end if you fail. So make sure you fully prepared before you take it on. So just like I mentioned earlier, so this is exactly what is uh, what I explained early on. All right, so okay, we go. We need slow puff. So if we clear this stage, we get 2 stars. So a total of 3 stars can be earned though. Oh, so the bottom layer of honey is movable. So that's kind of bummer. Slurpuff destroys upward though. So maybe let's destroy the lower layers. And then get the Slurpuff skill out. So we can destroy most of the honey um, in the way. So we can get the tomatoes to just drop in just like that. So, let's go with Michino first. Okay, uh oh. They blocked the entrance. Oh no. Okay. We got the skill. So, those coated in the olive oil will stay stuck for now. But that's fine. Um, let's get Slurp Half. Let's power up the skill. Okay, with this, it should clear out everything. Yeah, there we go. So all we have to do now is just gain the score. So let's get Eevee. And we're done. Fantastic. We didn't even have to retry. So that's, that's great. So I got 130 acorns just like this and 3 stars for each Pokemon. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So if we can keep this pace going for the next few days, we have a bunch of acorns. Oh, we, we have yet to open the gift. Alright. So we've managed to clear 10 stages. Things are gonna get a bit tougher. Uh oh. Why is this stage a two star? Oh no. I'm a bit worried. Oh wait! Is 50 the crossing stage? That can't be right. Oh well, let's give it a try. Okay, so 25 whipped creams to clear. Um, we might not want to touch the sugar cubes at the top. Uh, it's easier to destroy the whipped creams at the top just like that. So let's just use the Minchinos here and just destroy this. And let's destroy the whipped cream. There we go. So we got 9 all together there. Okay, so it's always good to have them, you know, stay in position. Okay, now we can destroy the sugar cubes with the remaining six whipped creams. Alright. Alright, like this, can we get all nine? There we go. We're done with all the items. Oh, there was one whipped cream left, but that's okay. It's a tiny one. We can just destroy it like this. And we are done. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Oh, 105. Wow. I think that's the highest I've ever gotten. So we're adding another item to the cafe. Marshmallows! Uh oh. Marshmallows are yummy as is, but they are even better in hot cocoa. Oh. 
Are we making hot cocoa now? Alright, who's next? We've got... Oh, Score Bunny is there! Okay, so it seems like we might be able to get Score Bunny by the end of this video, I suppose. So we need Charmander. Alright. To get a marshmallow from an open jar, make a combo next to the jar or hit the jar with a skill. You won't be able to clear marshmallow jars when the jars are closed, so be careful. Oh, okay. So, as long as the marshmallow jars are littered up, you can destroy them. Okay, so Pikachu does have a lot though. So let's get a Pikachu up and let's get in between the jars as close as possible. Um, since all of them are closed right now, let's just gather up the build. Um, you know, that skill. There is no need to actually use the skill because we need as much surface area as possible. That should do- Oh, we missed one! Oh, that's such a bummer. We're gonna waste two turns just to clear that one container. <laughs> Oh well, here we go. Oh, that actually looks really good. <laughs> oh, look at Pikachu walking around the cafe. Pokes. <laughs> Okay, so Score Bunny should be up next. There we go. We need Snubble. Let's do this. I am very excited to get Score Bunny to join us. Especially on such a tight schedule. <laughs> okay, Munchlax seems to be the most on the board right now. So let's get in there. Let's try not to push the tomatoes too far away because you know it's a it's a hassle to actually get them back in. Okay, so a squirtle. I need the tomato to get back in here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, destroy as many as possible. Alright, munch legs, go in, go in. Maybe push the, the tomatoes in. Okay, squirtle, there's a whole bunch of you. Alright, squirtle again. Okay, we've got only three more. So let's do this. Oh, there's a tomato on the outside. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Can we get you back in? Oh, no. This is horrible. Oh, I don't... I don't like these kind of stages where you have to scoop them out. You know... Oh no, this is horrible. Okay. And there we go. Ah, oh, that was really horrible. We could have done way better. But you know, like I said, clearing the stage is really all we need. Alright, the all important star. So we just have to go one round again to have Score Bunny to join us in line. And yeah. Togepi. Stage 53. So we're still doing okay so far. 70,000, two combos of 25 links. Oh, okay, so let's use Togepi for now to power up the skill and we gotta get these floating eye 
floating sugar cubes to stay still. Pikachu, I need you. Okay, who is the... Okay, Minchino is definitely a lot right now. So let's destroy the minorities. There we go. So our first link of 25. Alright, who has a lot at the moment? Nobody. <laughs> okay, so maybe let's do this. Let's destroy a few of the things together with the icon. We can chain a combo. Squirtle. Okay, let's get that floating sugar cube. Alright, it seems like Togepi is a lot at the moment. Yeah, there we go. We need Togepi for the skill and that chain. Fantastic, and we are done. like a cup of tea right now. My throat is really parched from all this talking. <laughs> Plus, you know, playing a game with food is really not helping me at all as well. Oh man, I'm hungry. <laughs> Minchino, okay, you're up next. Alright, so three stars away from getting a gift from Charmander. Okay, so I think same strategy, do not destroy the sugar cubes for now, except for the right side I suppose, because Minchino's skill only destroys left, so yeah, let's just use Minchino and destroy the sugar cubes here. There we go, get a whole bunch of them up there. So let's do this. I don't know if there's any more whipped cream at the top. Oh, there aren't. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! You should have gone for a three lane destruction. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so Munchlex, there's a whole bunch of you. Alright, so let's gather everyone back up there. Fantastic. So we just need another skill from Minchino at the same time while destroying the two whipped creams along. Okay. We could do this to kill the large one. Um, there we get. Slurp puff to destroy the tiny one. And we're done! So, <laughs> we used up all the stats, but that's fine. Oh, cafe is becoming really popular again. Ooh, bird bath! in line now yeah we've got togepi oh our new friend hello so adorable why is everyone so cute in this game <laughs> i would get diabetes from you know not just the food but the pokemon itself as well i thought i selected snubby Stage 55, 45,000 score and 8 tomatoes with that annoying marshmallows in the jar. Okay, so there are a lot of Charmanders around now. So let's just use Charmander to clear out as much as possible. There we go. And now we need Snubble. I think we 
got all the marshmallows. Yeah. So now we just need to push the tomatoes down. Okay, get Togepi out of the way. Alright, use the skill to push the tomatoes in. Alright. In you go, in you go. Come on. Oh. Alright, there you go. That, that's it. I'll be really mad if the tomato stayed on top of Togupi and did not roll in. <laughs> Alright, seven steps remaining. Whoa, look at that. Everything is about is a hit. Alright. That's fast. We can take new items already. Wow. Piz pizza? Oh no, the game is really making me very hungry. Oh god. Okay, Snobu stays on. To clear a piece of cheese, make a combo next to it three times or hit it with a skill. Oh, okay. Oh, so we gotta break the cheese um, to let the tomatoes fall in. So that's, that's okay. Alright. Let's just do this, let's get Snubble to power up his skill. There we go. And let's just destroy all three layers. And hopefully all of them go... Ah, they did not drop in. Ah, Togepi. Get out of there. There we go. <laughs> we took one extra step, but it's fine. Oh, dang. That's a pizza? I always thought they were biscuits or something. <laughs> okay. That's what happens when you play a game without reading. <laughs> Hello, Starly. So cute. Okay. Oh, we need um, Charmander. I mean, if you bought the Pikachu from the store, you can use that as well. But you know, this is a free-to-play teaching video, so I guess let's do the regular way. 25,000 and lots of marshmallow. Ooh. So we don't really have to destroy the top layer, but you know, they, um, we could use Charmander skill to destroy the top layer while we go for the bottom layer. So let's do this. Let's charge up Charmander. Oh, that wasn't enough. Okay, there we go. So we can use this to destroy as many of the marshmallows up there. Alright, so we get Squirtle. Then let's uh, dig out the marshmallows from here. Let's destroy as many as we can. Fantastic. So we should be done. Should be. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, we still need a score. <laughs> oh, dang. That's not enough. This. There we go. Stage 58. Hey, Score Bunny is there. So we definitely can end the quest for Score Bunny with this video. Whew, I thought I was gonna have to record one more round just to get Score Bunny. But yay! <laughs> I guess I can take more rest within the day. Alright, Minchino, come along with me and let's make Eevee happy. 32,000 score, 9 whipped cream, and 9 honey. So, Minchino's skill destroys things on the left. So let's 
follow the previous strategy. Let's keep the whipped cream up there for now and just destroy the honey. So let's charge up the chino. Alright, there we go. Destroy the whipped cream. One thing settled. Alright, let's get Charmander because there's just too many of them. Alright, we have... Okay, we don't have to destroy the honey. So that's a good thing. And we're done! Last round for score bunny, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Okay, so we can use either Togepi or Charmander, but I'm just gonna go with Togepi just in case. Ninety-five thousand and twenty-five link. Oh, thank goodness we went with Togepi, cause. It's going to be very hard to get that Link 25 if we use Charmander. Whew. <laughs> okay, so Kirina is a lot though. So let's make use of her to destroy the honey. And maybe follow by Togepi. Let's get in there. Fantastic. So let's just destroy as many a cores as possible. Alright, so at the same time, let's gather as many Starly as possible to destroy the honey. Can we get the acorns as well? Yeah. No, not acorn, hazelnut. Oh. Hmm, Starly is the most rare at this moment. So let's destroy this and turn the whole room. Oh, it's slow up. <laughs> okay, so let's get it plus 25 again. There we go, we got 28. Okay, we still need a whole bunch of score though. So let's get the Togepi. Alright, who has the most at this point of time? Alright, let's go, 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 go! There we go! So we managed to save a single step and we finally have Score Bunny joining us. And that's that for this event. Fantastic. How yummy drinks and dishes have really endeared us to Score Bunny. What? You wanna help out? That would be amazing! There's no way we can turn down an offer like that. <laughs> of course not, you're an event Pokemon. We need you in our, well, Pokemon lineup. Yeah. Glad to have you on board to help us out. Oh, we've got that friendship bonus. Hey, stage 60! So this will be the last stage. Just like any of my other videos, we always end up um, clearing 20 stages <laughs> per episode. So okay, we do clear the score bunny challenge as well. There is a second card though. There we go. So we need to clear orders with score bunny as the leader. So let's let's try and use as much score bunny as possible. Use cafe skills as well. Lots of excellent. Okay, so eventually we'll clear those as well. Let's take back the gift. Nice, lots of free stuff. All right, so let's do this with Score Bunny. Hopefully, we can clear this with your help. Um, clear Pokemon icons and gimmicks to the left. So it's the same skill as Machino. Huh. Oh wait. In this case, shouldn't we have gone with Charmander? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, it seems like we are okay with Score Bunny being around because the 
Fitch doesn't seem to really specifically need left side destruction. So, okay, let's get Togepi first, because Togepi and Score Bunny really look like the same in, in terms of overall look. Um, there's so much white on the board. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Alright, we've got the marshmallows going. Oh, there we go. One tomato is in. Let's use the munchlax. Oh, man. Can I push you up? There we go. Oh! Why did you have to slide back down? There you go. Okay. Get as many of the marshmallows as possible. Where's the last one? Okay, the last one's over there. Oh yeah! Not the best outcome, but you know, the clear is still a clear. And we got that times three with two stars. That's literally six stars. Woo! Oh man! Look at that. <laughs> oh, are we getting a new decor? Ooh, soda maker. Ooh. Oh no, another drink item on the menu. I really need a drink right after this. So guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, we cleared another 20 stages. What do you guys think of Score Bunny itself? Um, how do you fare in terms of its use on your own personal accounts? And of course, the designs look. You know, Score Bunny with the uniform, Score Bunny without the uniform, that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if I missed up anything in the stages or maybe on how I could have played those stages properly, you can let me know in the comments as well. And if you guys enjoyed yourself, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more episodes in the future, and whatever stuff I also put out on my channel. And yeah, if you guys had fun, you know, just check me out in the comments or on my YouTube Facebook page. Links in the description as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in another day. Until then, bye!